All right, let me show you how easy it is to create a proposal with Queen Proposals. This works the exact same way for commercial and residential. Right now, we'll just show you commercial. It also works the exact same way on mobile versus desktop. Obviously, this is desktop. In mobile, it's just gonna be in a smaller window. Everything syncs together, so you don't have to create a separate module for the walkthrough and then do something different on the desktop. You can start in the field and finish in the field with our software. All right, so we just name the proposal. We'll call it the downtown location, and then you can choose from one of our 20 different facility types. Let's go ahead and go with office space here. And then you would pick your subtype of work. So these are three different modules, janitorial and projects, construction cleaning and projects only. Janitorial and projects is for those of you who do, you know, your routine janitorial stuff, sweep, dust, mop, take out the trash, clean the restrooms, things like that, okay? The projects are carpet cleaning, window cleaning, tile cleaning, things of that nature. Construction cleaning is obvious, and then projects are, are for those of you who only do like tile cleaning, window cleaning, carpet cleaning, that, that sort of stuff, okay? So now let's go ahead and pick the frequency. Again, this works the exact same way as in residential as it does commercial. So we'll take the frequency here, and then you click Add Proposal. Now, in a smaller window pane, matter of fact, I'll just show you what it looks like. This would be on your mobile device. Now you can imagine just walking through a facility and simply checking the areas that apply. So you see a break room, you're like, oh, there's a break room, oh, there's another break room. You can edit the name of that if you want to, and you can select the flooring type, and then if you just drop down here, you'll see that you can add your square footage and the estimated clean times, and then every single type of cleaning task associated with a break room is here, okay? And all these here are designed to be memory joggers as well as something that you can just simply select or deselect, edit, or leave it just as is. I know it's quite a bit here, but this is also a memory jogger. So you can say, oh yeah, there were floor drains in there that I was supposed to clean. Yes, they did mission, I needed to load the dishwasher. I almost forgot that. And then you can look at the specifics of that particular uh, area. And then like I said, you can edit it or change the cleaning frequency if you like. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Now I'm going to jump back to desktop because it works the exact same way on desktop as it does mobile. That way you can just see a little bit more on the screen. All right, back to desktop. So as you can see, there's quite a bit on here to choose from. So what you would do is just go select the areas that apply as you're going through the facility. Okay. And as you can see, there are quite a few areas. We've thought about almost everything you could possibly imagine. And to go ahead and clean up the board, if you're not using all these particular areas, all you have to do is check this right here, and then it cleans up and only shows you the areas that apply to your specific situation. You can also take photos and notes, so when you're back on desktop, you can either check this and then select files and upload photos. Let me show you what that looks like. All right, you've uploaded a photo or and let's see, that's what it looks like. Now, if you were on your actual cell phone device, it would actually just then pull up your camera and then you can take a photo. And notice that the photos and notes are automatically organized by area for you, okay? And then if you wanted to use that photo or note, you would just simply select that and then scroll down to the bottom of your task list, check this, and now that's gonna be in your proposal. Now let's go on to step two, because this is laid out in four simple steps. All right, and this is where you add your, your, your special projects, excuse me. So just click that, select from 23 different project types like carpet cleaning, hard floor scrubbing, all kinds of things in here. Let's just say window washing, interior, exterior, and we're gonna do the whole building, or you can pick uh, specific areas if you like. And we're gonna say once a quarter and just add the project. And again, this works the exact same. Edit, photos, notes, task details, already laid out for you. Use them exactly as is or edit them or add your own. And then we go on to the calculator. So here we're gonna create our first labor cost. So we'll say we'll have one person at the rate of $15 an hour with three day or three hours, three days a week. And what you'll see here is that it gives you the cost per clean. It tells you your annual cost and it tells you your monthly cost for this particular labor type. You can then add several labor types if you want to and pay to people at different pay rates if necessary. All right, so then you add your additional expenses. I added cleaning supplies and tech fee. 
then you would add your margin. Some of you just work on margins. You just want to straight up say, I want 30% on everything I do. And then other people work on dollar amounts. So they say, oh, you know, I don't want to make 500 bucks on this job. So you'd enter that in and then it tells you what your margin would be. And it gives you your monthly charge to client. And this is really cool. If you enter the square footage here, it then tells you what you're charging per square foot. And that's a really important feature. So that way you know where you are in terms of the market and what you're actually charging. And down here, you would cost out your special project. So I'll do that real quick. It works just the same as a calculator up here. All right, I've added my margins and costs here. We'll close that out. And some of your clients just want one monthly price. They say, tell me everything for janitorial and all the special projects all in one price. If that's the case, all you have to do is hit the combine button here. And now it combines what you need to charge them monthly between your special projects and your routine janitorial. And then lastly, we go to step four, which is finalizing the proposal. And in here, you just pick from one of 25 professionally designed themes. And pick one, of course, that matches your logo. This would look good for us because you get to upload your own logo and tagline. Let me show you how beautiful this proposal is, okay? That's your logo up there. This is your tagline. This is the name of your business. This is your website address. This is who the proposal is for. And this is the date it was created and the address of the location you're servicing. Now just scroll through this proposal. Let me show you how beautiful this thing is here. These are your pricing tables. And what's cool too, is like I mentioned, let's say they only want um, one price, right? So all you have to do is go down here because the service agreement is 100% customizable. All you do is turn off monthly janitorial, periodic janitor work, janitorial work, and then it gives you your grand total, but it still shows you the cost for those things. Okay, so it gives your, your client a bunch of information here, and then you can just simply select or deselect anything you want. Let's click on this. Uh, let's go to insurance. Now let's go back up to legal. All right, so you would expand, and then anything in here, you can just get rid of if you don't like. So let's just say photo identification is one that you're not gonna use. Notice it here, and now it's gone. And of course, everything is 100% customizable. You can either download a PDF and attach it to your email, or you can submit it electronically and your prospects will get it in a HTML window pane that looks just like this. And of course they have the power for e-signature. That's just a quick overview of how to make a commercial cleaning proposal in just a few minutes.